Hi everyone and welcome to the SIUK seminar uh, with Manchester Metropolitan University. Uh, let me just share my screen with you. Right. Okay, so today we'll look at Discover Computing Courses at Manchester Metropolitan University from AI to Cybersecurity. So my name is Isabella and I'm the International Recruitment Manager for Europe and the US at Manchester Met. So today we will look at um, an introduction to Manchester Met, uh, the Computing Course Spotlight, research and expertise within this area. We'll also look at the IT sector globally. Um, of course, I'll share my contact details with you and then we'll have uh, time for uh, Q&A as well. Um, so here we've got also a uh, QR code um, that uh, you can use if you wanted uh, to leave your contact details with us as well. Okay, so I'm just going to stop sharing just for a second. So um, I wanted to as well uh, just let you know that um, my colleague uh, Emily is um, currently in our booth. Uh, so if this presentation um, gets you interested in Manchester Met, please go to uh, the Manchester Metropolitan booth and Emily will be there to um, answer any questions that um, you might have. Okay, so now back to the presentation. Okie doke. Right, so let's start with an intro to Manchester. So Manchester is located in the northwest of England. Um, it's got a population of 2.8 million. The symbol of Manchester is a war kirby. So this is a fun fact for you, uh, which uh, represents basically the creativity, the hardworking spirit of the city. Um, and in terms of the industry, uh, of course, it's the birthplace of the computer. Uh, so if you're thinking of studying computing, uh, I think this is one of the, the ones to consider, certainly. And now, of course, Manchester is a major hub uh, for innovation and technology. So it's a fantastic place uh, to be for a student and for a young professional looking for a career in this uh, thriving technology sector. Um, and of course, you might have heard of Manchester and how rainy it is. Um, it does rain a fair bit in Manchester, but also we do get beautiful sunny days. Um, so you have to just be prepared for everything. Okay, so a little bit more about the city. So it's one of the most cost effective uh, student cities in the UK. And this is very important, um, of course, for students, for international students in terms of um, in terms of um, how much funding you'll need to come and study in the UK. Um, so the estimate kind of uh, cost of living is just over £900 um, per month uh, here in Manchester. Um, it's one of the top five um, business cities in Europe and also it's been named the fastest growing tech city in Europe as well. Um, and it's also been voted the best city to live in um, three, I think, years in a row. Uh, so these are some of the reasons why Manchester is so popular for students. And uh, I'll show you a little video just so you can hear from our students on, on their experience of Manchester. Um, and especially how friendly it is. Um, it's the friendliest uh, city in the UK and um, top three in, in the world. <laughs> I think Manchester is a fascinating place to live in. Manchester is incredibly friendly and everyone is incredibly nice and kind and supportive. I like to go to the Northern Quarter. There are like lots of shops and cafes. There are these areas also in Manchester like Curry Mile and Chinatown. You can experience different cultures out here. You like music? There are bands here playing all the time. You like culture? You're surrounded by it here. You like sports, you have the biggest teams in the world. Anything you're interested in, Manchester is the place. In Manchester, Met student can come from all over the world. It's so easy to talk to everyone. Manchester is a melting pot of different cultures. You can always find things to do. Manchester is an affordable student city. One of the best things for moving to Manchester was having my hall so close to the campus and the campus so close to the city. Even the short while that I've been here, I feel like I'm a part of the community. I do feel accepted. I do feel like I belong. 
So there we go. That was a little um, video from our students. Um, and also I wanted to introduce you to um, our Turkish students, our Turkish um, alumni. So at Manchester Met, we've got a group of international alumni ambassadors. And we actually have this year a new ambassador from Turkey. Uh, his name is Yusuf. Uh, Yusuf studied MSc cybersecurity with us last year, graduated uh, this year. And he's a cybersecurity engineer in Turkey. Um, so here you've got a little uh, sample from uh, from what Yusuf said in terms of kind of his career, what inspired him and what he loved about Manchester. And I think the most important is for me um, to hear what inspired him and to know that it was actually his supervisor for the master project. So if you're looking for kind of the um, postgraduate areas, so things like masters and PhD, I think it's really important to know that you've got that guidance and, and support in our lecturers. Um, and also to know that uh, Yusuf um, is now having a very, very high um, kind of power job in the ministries in, in Turkey. Um, so it's it's a fantastic thing, um, of course, to have Yusuf with us. Um, and if you want to connect with Yusuf, um, I'll share the contact details. You just need to go into his LinkedIn page and, and connect with him. I'm sure he will be happy to share his experience of, of um, Manchester Met. So now a little bit on the campus. So we are a campus university, meaning everything is in one place. Um, so today we're not going to be talking about the whole of the university. We'll just be focusing on, on computing, which sits in our faculty of science and engineering. So the campus is located about 10, 15 minute walk away from the city center. We're located by one of the kind of by one of the busiest uh, roads in Manchester called Oxford Road. So this is where you've got all the kind of uh, transport links, restaurants, uh, theaters and, and everything kind of that you need um, as a student um, in the city. And a little bit about us. Um, so the university actually started uh, with the Institute of Mechanics um, dating to 1824. So although we got our university status in 1992, we've actually have been teaching in, in the areas of, of kind of engineering um, since the early 19th um, century. And very exciting plans for us for the science uh, and engineering faculties that we are working on a new building. Um, hopefully they'll be ready uh, for you um, in the next uh, couple of years. So very exciting plans for, for Manchester Met. So we'll now focus on the Department of Computing and Mathematics. So we've got fantastic facilities here um, specific to the kind of computing um, areas. So animation studio, computer labs, usability labs, so you can track the user experience, do usability analysis, so like eye tracking, for example. Um, Many of our courses come with placement and internship opportunities. So here in the faculty, we really value industry experience. So uh, if you have any questions about the kind of internships um, and how it works, of course, come and speak to Emily. She can um, tell you more about it. But basically, as a, a student doing your bachelor degree, you can do a one year placement. And similarly, if you take a master degree that offers uh, internship, uh, opportunity, it would be a two year master program. So the first year would be study. The second year would be a placement, a year placement. Um, so the focus of focus on employability is really clear with Manchester Met. So we do lots of live projects for clients as part of your course. So that could be, for example, developing a website uh, for a startup company or a mobile phone app. Um, so you get practical projects as part of your degree. There's also lots of opportunities to work on your employability skills, your kind of uh, soft skills. So there will be workshops, guest lectures. There's also career fairs where you can actually meet the employers. There's opportunity for extra practice. So you can get involved in extracurricular activities. Uh, so we do, for example, hackathons, uh, which is basically a hacking challenge, uh, which uh, happens at the university. There's lots of gaming events and national competitions that you can get involved in as well. And importantly, uh, we're also connected very closely to the sector, to the technology sector. Um, so that's, um, for example, companies like Google, Cisco, Amazon Web Services, but also local companies here uh, in Manchester and the Northwest. So um, here on the right hand side, you can see the list of courses that we offer. So at bachelor level, um, there's computer science, there's artificial intelligence, data science. Uh, there's also software engineering and also um, the area of uh, games, um, computing games, so computer games development, computer animation, visual effects. And then at master's level, 
we've got artificial intelligence, data science, cybersecurity, computer science. Uh, there's also other areas of engineering. There's also other areas uh, as well of games art. Uh, but today we're just focusing on the ones within the um, science engineering faculty. So now I wanted you to hear from Nick Whitaker, who is um, a senior lecturer at Manchester Met. Um, and he's prepared for us a little overview of two of our popular courses. And he'll also talk to you about accreditations and how important they are uh, for uh, students uh, looking to study these sort of areas. Hello, and welcome to this coverage of the computing courses here at Manchester Met. My name is Nick Whitaker and I'm a senior lecturer in computing at Manchester Metropolitan University, responsible for computing for international students. The BSc Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. This degree will equip you with the knowledge and skills to acquire, curate, manage, analyse and make inferences from data for solving real world problems. In your first year, you'll look at the core computing topics such as programming and databases, as well as specialist subjects such as mathematics, statistics, and the principles and practice of data science. Alongside these subjects, you'll be developing your communication, your communication and teamwork skills, skills. And as, and as you move into your second, second year, year, you'll progress to more advanced topics such as applied predictive, predictive modeling, algorithms and data structures, and machine, machine learning. learning. In, in your final year, year You'll be ready to meet complex tasks such as deep learning and high performance computing and big data, and you'll turn your hand to a large scale technical project. By studying with us, you'll gain essential, transferable computational and statistical thinking skills to create and deploy data driven products. We will equip you with the knowledge for solving challenges in a range of potential data rich application domains such as medicine, health, climate transportation, marketing, and sales. So what's the course structure like? How many hours will you be in university? The majority of standard full-time courses can be expected to be timetabled for 15 hours per week between 9 and 5, with an additional 30 hours per week of self-study. And a typical balance between lectures and seminars is that you'll tend to spend 25% of your time in lectures, seminars, or labs, together with 75% in independent study. The assessment is, in general, 100% coursework, with the exception of computer science, which is 75% coursework and 25% examination in the final year. The MSc Cybersecurity. Cybersecurity skills are currently in high demand. There's a cybersecurity skills shortage. And this course covers a wide range of topics from data protection, AI skills, cloud security, blockchain skills, and forensics to counter cyber espionage. You also look at penetration testing and an Internet of Things security. Students will learn the key skills that their employees are looking for in computing graduates, and all software and hardware use is industry standard. The course is taught full time over one year, and some, some of the modules we look at include an introduction to computer forensics and security, advanced network security, cryptography and encryption, and advanced computer networks and operating systems. As part of the course, you'll be taught how to handle and minimize security threats and incidents, and it will help students understand information governance and assurance. The course is taught by cybersecurity experts with specialist knowledge and research experience in the field. The course structure. You'll typically be expected to work for 15 hours per week in timetable classes between 9 and 5, together with an additional 30 hours per week for self-study. The typical study consists of 50% seminars, labs, lectures, together with 50% independent study. The assessment is normally 75% coursework with 25% examination. Accreditations with industry and professional bodies. 
We have many accreditations and endorsements from professional bodies, including ones from the Chartered Institute for IT, the Oracle Academy, the Chartered Institute for Information Security, Computer Technology Industry Association, as well as the British Computer Society. They help inform our courses, as well as some of the, our courses lead to exemption from entry to the And also how important it is in, in our daily lives. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you two examples of research um, as well here at Manchester Med. So apart from bachelor and master courses, we also offer research um, courses. So that's masters by research and PhDs. Uh, so we've got um, a couple of different research groups uh, that focus on different areas. Um, and here are two examples of what we are working on. So we're working on smart technology and, um, and ulcer detection. So this is really important uh, developments for health services. Um, and we're also working on protecting computer systems from cyber attacks, so really tackling cyber crime. So these are two of the big projects that the university is um, involved in. And as students, you can also, as part of your kind of final projects, dissertations, you will be able to contribute to, to that uh, sort of um, research as well. And a couple of more important projects the university is involved in and how it really shows how important these areas are for us. Uh, we are a founding member of the Institute of Coding. So we're actually working uh, with lots of different UK educational um, providers, uh, just making sure that digital skills are up there for, for students. Um, we're also a leader for Cyber Foundry, uh, which is a security scheme to protect Greater Manchester area, so working with businesses here, and also a leader of AI Foundry, so working with businesses again across Manchester um, and, and embracing the artificial intelligence technology to improve um, their um, performance. So I wanted to give you a couple of headlights in terms of the global and UK trends for IT. So in 2021, the global information technology industry was valued at um, just around $5 trillion, uh, which is um, incredible uh, value. And in the UK, the actual venture capital investment, it was third in the world uh, behind only the United States and China. So we're really investing here in this area. So the um, it was a value of 15 billion in 2020 for the UK. Um, and again, in terms of jobs, the number of unique tech jobs advertised in the UK overweighed that of key European countries by 259 percent on average. So we are really, really focusing on this area. And here you've got some of the trends, uh, current trends. So like we've mentioned AI engineering, um, privacy, um, computation, of course, 5G, there's the internet of behaviors, there's human centered digital experience, and of course, remote and digital workforce technologies, which I think have um, of course, been really important during the COVID-19 pandemic. So here I wanted to give you an example of accelerated digital transformation um, through Zoom. So this is a very good example where uh, basically uh, we had to respond very quickly to the environment, to what was going on, um, which was the pandemic. Um, and um, we had to do it very quickly. And Zoom is a very, very good example of that, how quickly things changed. So in December 2019, uh, there were 10 million daily meetings on Zoom. In April 2020, that was 300 million daily meetings. And the company's value, share value, has also increased immensely by more than 500%. Uh, percent. So this is an ever-changing um, ever uh, sector and really exciting sector as well. And especially one that has been actually very much influenced um, and impacted um, by, by the pandemic. So now I just wanted to give you more information on entry requirements and fees. 
Um, so in terms of academic requirements, um, you've got foundation, undergraduate, postgraduate requirements there. So generally for bachelor programs, we do accept the LISA, um, but we do accept LISA from certain schools. So if you're not sure if this current school you're studying at would be a, um, would be on the list, just uh, ask my colleague Emily or just drop me a, a question here and we can look at that for you. And then for postgraduate for master courses, uh, we accept um, a GPA of minimum, uh, usually 2.5 for courses. Some courses were required 2.8. If you have graduated from one of the high ranked universities in um, Turkey, uh, there is some flexibility on taking on accepting a lower GPA. In terms of English language requirements, um, for an undergraduate program, IELTS 6.0 is required, and for postgraduate, IELTS 6.5. Of course, uh, the component um, requirements are also uh, there in place, so you need to make sure you've got at least 5.5 in each of the components. We do also accept other English language tests um, and the full list is available on our website. We also do have an English language center accredited by the British Council where we uh, offer pre-sessional courses. So if you are still kind of early on on your, um, on your education in terms of English language proficiency, uh, we'll be happy to consider you first for the pre-sessional course and then uh, once you complete that course you can join the degree program. Uh, in terms of tuition fees, um, undergraduate courses, so bachelor courses or foundation courses are a price between 16,500 to 18,000 per year and postgraduate taught programs so master programs between 16,500 to 18,500. So I would say that this uh, these prices apply to maybe 90% of all of our programs. Some programs have a different fee, um, for example, uh, co professional courses such as ar architecture or physiotherapy, but the majority of the courses within the computing would be between those prices. And again, for postgraduate research, then the uh, tuition fees will vary depending on your research, depending on which research group, uh, but they start around uh, 15,000 and go up to up to 25, 27,000 pounds per, per year. So now a bit more on scholarships. Um, so we currently um, offer international scholarships at undergraduate and postgraduate level. So undergraduate level, it's 2,000 pounds for every year of study. And for postgraduate level, it's up to £3,000. For these scholarships, you don't have to make an additional application. These are assessed automatically uh, when you apply to the university. Um, we are currently working on our offer for next year. So these scholarships um, are available, were available for students who started already with us this September. So our scholarships for next year should be available, should be announced within the next couple of weeks. So keep in touch with us. And of course, we'll let you know um, as soon as the new scholarships are announced. There might be some additional scholarships as well, more prestigious scholarships, uh, but we're waiting for, for details there. So definitely keep in touch so I can um, inform you on, on the scholarships, but you can assume more or less that the scholarships will remain um, pretty much the same. So up to that £3,000 for a master's student and the £2,000 for every year of study. Um, that's, that's the type of scholarship you can expect. Um, so just the final um, details, of course, um, do get in touch with me if you prefer by email or um, visit our booth. Um, of course, if you prefer um, to kind of speak in Turkish or to kind of go into the office, of course, you've got SIUK, who are the trusted education advisor in Turkey. Um, so you've got the website there. And of course, you can go and speak to them on, at the booth as well. So now if um, I'm just going to stop sharing my screen. If there are any questions, we can go through them as well. So Hakan, do we have any questions from students? Okay, so we have no questions. Right, so thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, I hope to, I get to speak uh, with, uh, with some of you later at the booth and have a lovely weekend. Take care.